Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So, since last time I've done some inventory management, I gave Balthus his relic and we need to do some battling. So, what are we gonna do? I've kind of been looking through it. We don't need money. We are actually, I believe, uh, let me go in here. Oh, I didn't, I maybe didn't sell these things. I did sell the things that I found. We ha I found some booleans. Basically, we're about where we were before. Um, so, essentially, we don't need to do the auxiliary, so I think we're just going to go straight into Land of the Golden Deer. Lorenz receives a letter from his father, Count Gloucester, who wishes for his son to resolve a territorial dispute that is about to escalate to violence. Let's go. Land of the Golden Deer, White Clouds Chapter 11, Throne of Knowledge. Ah. Uh. Perfection. Oh, these tea leaves are just divine. Quite the impressive selection, if I do say so myself. Lawrence, so this is where you are. Oh no, Cyril's involved. Hello, Cyril. Lured here by the exquisite aroma, were you? Uh, no. I've got a thing for you. It's a letter. All right, well, don't say I didn't deliver it. A letter for me, is it? Curious. Let's see what we have here. Is that a love letter? Alas, Professor, nothing so whimsical as that. This correspondence comes from my father. Some difficulty with Acheron, apparently. My father wishes me to return home and settle it. Acheron? A young lord whose domain borders my father's. Do you know of the Great Bridge of Murden? It is an old bridge across the Aramid River, a key crossing between Alliance and Empire territory. Acheron controls the land on the northern side. Controlling such an essential location gives him quite a bit of clout, which he is ever so eager to deploy toward the purpose of stirring up trouble. This time, he is dredging up an old border dispute that was supposed to be settled some time ago. He has even begun to dispatch military force. It is best we rout his troops before they cause any damage to the surrounding villages. Why does this fall to you, Lorenz? To my father, Acheron is insignificant in the face of far more pressing political matters. Other houses wield far greater power and influence. Goneril, Ordelia, Edmund, and of course, Regan. To make his voice heard at the round table conferences, my father must keep up relations with them. That is simply the way the Leicester Alliance works. It was, after all, founded with the goal of freedom from Fargus. We prize that independence highly, even if it occasionally hinders cooperation. There is often talk of mutual aid, but the truth is that each noble acts to maximize personal benefit. At the moment, the Regan dukedom is in no state to keep those conflicting motivations in check. So while the Alliance may appear to be at peace, the reality is that internal conflict is a routine matter. Of course, this leaves me precious little time to sit back and enjoy a cup of tea. Alas, I must be off. Well, good luck. Since you're here, perhaps you would care to accompany me on this little errand? Oh, I suppose so. I have no fear of Acheron. But it could be valuable for you to experience these political nuances firsthand. Though I have left the Golden Deer House behind, the fate of the Alliance will nevertheless rest upon my shoulders someday. Oh, it's weird it even acknowledges that. That's cool. It is important to me that those I deal with understand its workings. What say you to broadening your horizons? Let's go. Excellent. Let us be away at once. I shall leave the finer details of preparation in your capable hands. Wonderful. So, we're about to jump in, but I was just thinking, Lorenz is in our house. Lorenz has weapons that I have not equipped him with. Hmm. I may have done something wrong there. I may need to double check he actually has any weapons and I haven't completely removed everything from him. But, yeah, we should be okay. This I don't remember this mission having a single twist in it. Like, it, it's pretty much just a kill things mission. I could be wrong, though. Oh, the twist is you can't let them get to this bit. That's it. See, I can remember the twist eventually. Right, let's do units first. So, Lorenz is in. Let's take a bunch of people out. Plane's in. Uh, I want Aloise in. How do I get Aloise into this group? Is there anybody from my previous group who is not able to come in here? Shamir and Aloise. Okay, so Shamir and Aloise. That means Lindart and Happy have to be out of the group, right? Yeah, it means Lindart and Happy have to leave the group. Alright, so it's Aloise and Shamir. There we go. 
So that's our group there. Uh, Lorenz would be replaced with... I'm just thinking about it for longer term. Lorenz would be replaced with Happy, short term, long term Catherine, I think. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's our group. Uh, short term, happy, long term Catherine. But then we also have Cyril as like an 11th. I'm trying to figure out how that even fits in. I guess we have like, we have our 11th and 12th and Cyril and happy. Yeah, that's pretty much it then. And then 13th is Lintar if we need it. Yeah, that adds up. Okay, so happy. We're going to get you to sit on top of... I don't think any of these people have supports with her apart from Balthus and uh, Constance and Yuri. So let's just go for... Let's go for Yuri. Yeah. Lintart, uh, you have one with Flane, which you can't do. Who else does Lintart have supports with? Uh, anyone in that house, which is nobody. Hanuman. There we go. Lintart... Oh, but they're finished. They're finished their supports, so actually he doesn't get one. Uh, Catherine, but she's not with us yet. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess he can sit on us because we're the like we have a support with him. Yeah, okay. And then we have one extra. Uh, Ber how about we go Bernadetta and Aloise? Sure. Right. Inventory. Let me check. Yeah, so I took everything off of Lorenz, so we can at least give him some stuff back. We're not gonna like buy a bunch of new stuff for him, but like give him an iron lance and a training lance at least. That seems good. Right. Uh, I think we're ready to go. Yeah. Let's do a little save, and then uh, chuck ourselves in. The map. Let me just double check. Yeah, map super simple. So there's 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 no reason why we'd have to rearrange because we can rearrange turn one. Let's go. Defeat the enemy commander or 12 turns pass. Far more enemies than I expected. I am glad you decided to come with us, Professor. Oh, and here I thought Count Gloucester would be too busy to send his soldiers here. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just have to deal with you little meddlers swiftly and decisively. That is Acheron. We can deal with him. That ought to scare the rest of these rats off. We need not actually kill him. So long as we cut his escape off convincingly enough, that should suffice. Okay. Acheron's forces will try to seize as much territory as they can. Be careful not to let them capture your defended location. Incidentally, take note of those drawbridges. They can only be operated from one of the banks. Yeah, it's kind of intended you do this one before you do the, um... We may be able to use that to our advantage. Before you do the Raphael and Ignatz one, because in that one it doesn't tell you how to use the bridges whatsoever. Right, um, let's see here. So we're going to be attacked on turn one. Uh, potentially. We could also back off. I love him in his outfit. That is fantastic. Wait, I'm going to zoom in here. That, that is a good look for him here. Uh, he's decided, nah, you know what? I don't need to be in my armor. Less clothing. That's the way to go. Right. Uh, I guess I'm more worried about where these guys can attack up to. Yeah, that's, that's that's a bigger worry for me. Let's work this out. So, Balthus, I kind of want to run forward. You know what? I'm going to run Balthus forward, and I'm going to get him to drink his pure water. Perfect. So he should now be pretty uh, in the way. Yeah, that's good. So that works. So currently she's going to be hit for 13. He's going to be hit for quite a bit more. So we need somebody to stand there. Flame? Away. That would be fine. Let me just double check. Like if I go an extra square of flame, she gets attacked by two. So she would have to go here. Uh, with the short spear and wait. Ready and able. Move him behind. I can rally luck here. So you're now attacking him. So he's taking 12 plus 0. Okay, that seems good the to me. Um, we'll use a little ward just to get some XP. Oh, why, thank you. It's alright. Ooh, and skill leveled up. Nice. Uh, anything else that we can do here? To work. You can't hit anyone. Sure thing. Move in. Am Move I in. Just... He has silence now, which is why you can attack. I won't forget this. Might as well get some 
a support point. Let's take them out. And then use uh ward. Sure. Very helpful. Nice. Right, and then we're just gonna end our turn. See how this goes. So we do a little punch back. That's fine. Barely got any um, XP, which is kind of what we expect at this point. Nice. He's just so overleveled. Nice. Okay. This appears to be fine so far. There's, they are closing in quite quickly. But mostly fine. Alright. Uh, is it you who can hit... Yeah, you're going to hit him this next turn. That's fine. Shamir, can I get you to kill um, this one? Perfect. Do it. Silence. That's what I was looking for. So steadfast. Right. Uh, so now I need to start getting rid of just like one at a time. So let's go for training gauntlets, Mystic Blow. Just get rid of that one. Opens up a little space for us to work in. Who are you attacking next turn? Aloise. Okay. I moved Aloise out here. He can get a kill with... Oh, he's got low hit chance, though. Let's try Smash. Not great. Okay. Missing is definitely not good on your first turn. Uh, now, I believe that you have... Yeah, Resonant Flames. I could move you up here. So you're going to... Ah, no. So th See, this one's the one I care about. Now, I don't care about this one instead. Or that one. Yeah, okay. So Hanuman's best spot's like here or here. Let's start here with Hanuman. And just do a little uh, wind. Perfect. Don't let my age fool you. So just clearing one out of the way. Thinking about it now. You're still going to hit him, huh? Uh, can't quite get Manuel around there. We can Stay go around right there, though. Let's head up here and attack into this guy with our Steel Axe. We can't get the kill. We can with the Creator Sword. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about where we need to be. I think you need to be here and we need to use Gambit. Yeah. Make him weak. It's only a 55% hit. It fizzled. Okay, that's terrible. I might actually even do this on that one. We have a lot of Divine Pulse charges. Stay focused. We're going to head down and use the Gambit. That's my new plan. 95% hit. Uh, oh, yeah, his Gambit's different, but we'll use it anyway. Because now they have Onslaught. So kills one, holds another still. We're taking 24... 30, 40 damage. So we're taking 40 damage. We will live. Okay. Let's run up here and punch. Seems like a good idea to me to get rid of an archer. We might also take some more damage from these guys, potentially. Uh, let's see here. Let's take them out. Can you kill this one? No. Hank's Blade makes it a no entirely. How about you, Shmir? Can, not Shmir. Uh, Flake, can you kill this one? No. Although you got... You have a 50% chance of killing with this. Pretty much. Let's try it. Didn't get it. That's fine. Uh, let's see where we want to be here. I'm going to move into this square. Right. Now Manuela can run up here and kill him. Using the uh, Iron Sword or something like that. Yeah, Iron Sword doesn't even need to do anything, actually. Nice. Better luck next time. Oh, I always forget. She has stealth, so they can't hit her anyway. As long as somebody else is in range. So we're going to take 40 damage, which is actually great. Because we have defined, we have defined strength now. So we gain 8 strength when our HP is below tw uh, 25%. So you're taking 16 damage. You're taking 36. That's a problem. All right, we have a fix for this one, though. We have a fix. We'll use dance here. Perfect. Why waste it? Um. Then we can use rescue. 
on her. Should put her into the bottom square. Oh. It's weird. I think we're still okay. Yeah, we're still okay. I think. And then, I you know what? Ready. Lorenz? Might as well just move you down here. Why not? So we get some fire thrown at us. Absolutely okay. Not worried. Yep, you're attacking Aloise, who is gonna not quite kill you, which is actually perfect. Bernadetta leveled up. I can improve too, you know. Wonderful. Right, next one's gonna attack Manuela. Who is gonna destroy him. Not my first. Battle. I love that Manuela is like actually good. Right. We hit back. We actually got a hit in, which is good. And then the next one. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a bad idea on your part to even let yourself be known. Flying in, so we can kill that one with a bow and arrow. We're perfect. We're now uh, below the level we need to be at. So we can just run and kill people now. Let's work this out. First of all, I'm thinking Shamir kills the um, one that needs to be killed by an archer. Seems pretty good to me. Take me all you want. Oh, there's a crit. Are we done? All right. Seems like a good start. Right. Next up. This might be tough. Hmm. Might be. This one needs to die as well. Can you do that? I don't know. Can you? No, you're, you're one HP, uh, so you're one damage off being able to get the kill there. Hmm. Can you kill this one? I mean, you do have this sword. Yeah, in fact, you can just... Oh, wait, no, I do need to use one of these, otherwise it's gonna... Um, yeah. Otherwise it won't work out the way I want it to, basically. Better luck next time. But that worked. Right. Um, Aloise... Actually, he has... Um, I'm just thinking, he has Blaze, right? Yeah, so we could run over here with Aloise. Careful now. So instead, what I'm going to do is run over this way. Uh, and just do a little kill. It's over. That guy is very, that very, is very dead. Battalion leveled up. Nice. A sight to see. So now I'm going to run Aloise over here. Use his Gambit, which will hit all of them. Let's, begin. Let's go, it's 85% hit. On to the next nice. Fight. So they're now stuck in place. One of them can still attack Aloise, but that's fine. We can kill that one. Um, let's work this out. Hanuman. I want you to kill this one. Nice crit. Research produces results. Okay, so you can't hit anyone. You can't hit anyone. So it leaves us with that one and this one. Okay. Well. Goodbye. I sped a week into their demise. Battalion leveled up. Ooh, nice. There's a stat up across the board. You can fly up here. Uh, we have the ability to give someone else another turn. So I think we might run down here and give um, yeah, give Shim not Shamir, Flay in another turn. And then she can get the kill. Yeah, head in here and... I guess we could try Levin's Sword Wrath Strike. Yeah, there we go. That works. It's only a 40% hit. Don't know why I went for it. Seems like a bad idea in hindsight. Battalion leveled up, though. Get extra crit. I am fine. Am I not? Just fly over here. Right, um... Let's try this one. That seemed to work. Then leaves us with just Lorenz. Can you get a kill? Yeah, I'm into that. I don't really care that we're not going to use them. We might as well just get a kill here. Nice. Ooh, have you found something nice? Go ahead and hand it over. So we have a thief in the bottom left and bottom right who have uh, like items that they're stealing. Okay. Thieves, do not allow them to escape. Wasn't planning on it, but that's okay. 
yeah, one of them has to run through the center, which obviously isn't going to go well for them. Right, um, let's work this out. Hanuman, how about you just kill this one while you're here? Perfect. Don't let my age fool you. We're not really getting XP on most of our group here, which is fine. I'm going to run Shamir over here. Run up and use our short axe. Sure. It's a way to attack without actually standing next to them. Um, yeah, why don't you use thunder? Perfect. I've still got it. I love how little XP she gets from these. Right, run up here. Yeah, run up there. Wait. I will need all my strength. Plane, can you attack this one? You can? Sure. I don't think they'll attack back because they're going to try and run away, I believe. We catch them with Lorenz? Sort of, yeah. Let's use that. Great. You can't compete with me. Still gets no XP. Oh, it's an advanced seal. That's what we're fighting for. One advanced seal. All right then. Um, let me see where I want to go here. I think I want to start heading this direction. I, I can't remember. Did I give her brawl lavo? I did not give her brawl lavo because I couldn't see which one to get rid of for brawl lavo. Uh, so she's gonna be there. I think I might go and give Hanuman another turn and then get him further up in the battlefield. Let's do that. Well done. Right. Level 27 for Yuri. Luck is on my side. Who is incredibly overleveled. But that's alright. I'm not complaining. So Balthus takes just enough damage to put himself below 25%. Wonderful. They're going to start closing in on this side. Oh, are we going to die to the flyer? Hopefully not. I'm slightly worried that we are now, though. Let's see. Oh, there's a ton of them in here. If we dodge one, we're good. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I, I said the words, right? The enemy is on the move. Do not let them through. Again, wasn't planning on it. Right. Um, where's Constance? There we go. Constance moved. The sun. She can head up here, and I don't know. Ward. I'm good now. All right, she's good now. Sure thing. Instead, I'm going to send you over this way because I think we're going to need more on that side. I'm just going to skip the entire turn. We know where they go. Right. Uh, let's start at this side because it's a little bit easier to work with. So we know that they can't reach that square, right? Oh no, they can totally reach that square. Okay, they're not allowed to, so that one needs to die. To work. I can block it by, like, physically blocking. Seems like a good idea. Let's just go killer blow, uh, killer bow, and then just sit there. So you're now gonna hit her for a bit, but she's probably gonna kill you on the first hit. My turn. Right. Hanuman can go down the stairs. Take a little step back and wait. Careful now. We're gonna head down here. Let's take and them out. We'll move down this way. Just checking, if I do a heal, we go above 25%. Yeah, this is a not not necessarily the best plan I've ever had, leaving us at 3 HP. But you know, that's fine. Level 24 for Manuela. I can still shine brighter. Oh, well that's good to know. Um over here. Work this out. So you're shooting flame. You're going for flame. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple of these guys going for flame. I'm kind of wondering. Now, I gave you the Sword Avo, didn't I? I did give you Sword Avo. How far can I get you? Hmm. Sure, pal. I could try something like that. That seems like a really bad one. That's not really going to get us what I'm after. I could also use Numa Gale. Which will do some damage, but not really what I'm looking for. So what I was thinking is that I could get him to attack, run into the bush, use our sword avo to get back out again. I think I just retreat here. 
This might be tough. Yeah, I think it I think it's a straightforward retreat situation. I will need all my strength. All the way back there. I stand ready. Lorenz, retreat. Right, uh, we'll use a little uh, recover here. Get you up to full HP. Level 27 for Yuri. Wonderful. Now that feels good. Uh, and then run. Cool. I'll do. So they're now going to fly into us. Mm hmm. This is fine. Start, I'm thinking Defiant Strength might be something I don't use again. As in, don't use in the same way that I'm using it now anyway. No crit, huh? Well, that's annoying. If we'd killed that one, I would have been very happy. The reason I'm saying that about Defiant Strength is I feel like that might be causing us issues at this exact moment in time. Right. Can you reach the... You can reach here. Okay. Stay vigilant. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Let's uh, go Hunter's Volley back this way. Yeah. Oh, that's got a really low hit rate. I guess I should go closer. There we go. Training Bow, Hunter's Volley. 100% kill. Go for it. Four. Nice. Uh, so I go. I could stop this one with Flame by using her reversal, and so I could hold them still. I don't know if that's going to get us where we need to go though. And it would put us further into them. You don't have a battalion, which is probably a bad planning on my part. You have Blaze, but you've already used it. You have Resonating Flames, which I could use on this one, potentially. Let's unmark here. Uh, mark. This, uh, sorry, Mark. Yeah, this one. So if I used Resonating Flames here, that would hit all of them, I think. You, however, cannot reach. Do you have Resonating Flames? Your battlefield cleanup. You need to be right next to them, but I think that'll work. Right, go here. Switch to your sword. Uh, training sword. Then use the Gambit. Ah, uh, see, that, that doesn't hit the Archer as well. It would need to hit the archer as well. Means we need Hanuman in there. Right, Hanuman. Or oh, we could attack back here and get killed. That seems good. Oh, I need Research a devil sword. Oh, he was the. Uh... Oh, okay. He, he was the thief. I didn't even realize. Uh, well, that's cool. Well, dance. Now get him a little closer. So then I want to use my gambit here. Perfect. The time is right. <laughs> so what that does is that holds those three stills. This one might still be able to shoot. Ha can't shoot Hanuman. Perfect. Right. Down here, gambit. Eighty percent. Do it. Wonderful. We then just take a couple steps back, and we're out. Wonderful. So they're all holding still now. Uh, Aloise can move up. Well, Aloise might want to go this way, actually. Mm, he still actually can't hit anything. It's quite a problem. Never mind. No hard feelings. Um, let's see here. Hmm. All right. Down here, Iron Axe. Oh, it doesn't matter if I hit twice. That's fine. Of course, it's an archer. As expected. So now we're gonna head back, use Rescue once again. That's fine. Right. So now you're hitting Aloise, which should be uh, zero damage. That's what I like to see. You're going to run down here and do a little heal. Good assist. Nice. And then Manuela, I think, is actually going to head over this way. I don't need to silence. Uh, forget, what was her gambit? Oh, it's the one that gives strength. Okay. Um, actually, you know what I could do with her? I could run her down this way and then use the strength gambit. Give Aloise some extra strength. 
I think it's just for one turn anyway. I'm grateful. Right, uh, Lorenz, I might try and just grab your kill. On one off again. Wonderful. How about this one? Two off. What's his movement? His movement seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can get a kill here. All right, do it. And then five, six, seven to get out. You're outclassed. Let's do that. Right, seven turns remaining. Oh, we're gonna be one HP off killing. Wonderful. That's fine. Hey, it's riding. Oh, Bernadette's riding is now B. Not his. He doesn't even have riding. I think. Right. Um. Do you have another one of those? No. Uh. Okay. Let's think this through. And here, just get a kill. That missing is not great, if I'm honest with you. I'm not happy with that. Let's try that again. Right. Stay vigilant. Uh, I should be able to use Hunter's Volley. Yeah. So two fifties. Nice. Another one down. Two fifties gave us a hit. That, that, that's good. I like it. Alright, next up. Uh, Ready I mean, I name. guess he head in here. Right, so we'll move Aloise in here and attack. Uh, not great odds. Let's try it anyway. Well, that's not good. It's kind of the right spot for Aloise to be, though. So, sure, that's fine. Let's move Balthus in here. Get some punching going. My bounty is enough for grabs, pal. Pretty much no XP from that. Fair enough. Um, we're actually Careful the lowest now. level. So we're the one who needs to get this kill. And we're improving our axe skill while we do it. So, hey. Positive Should stuff. Back? Got a level up in our authority. Nice. Um, the sun. What's funny is that after getting all of this space for um, like Balthus to work and for Aloise to work, I'm just like, let's put our squishy person in front of them. Not that she's really a squishy person any longer, but you know. Uh, okay, so that side's sorted. The other side, it's in several degrees of pain. Um, hmm. How do we solve this? All right, I think Yuri sure has thing. to be up here. I think Yuri realistically has to be there. Yeah, that seems good. Is so that kills that one? It makes the other one super weak. I think that's good. The next step is you need to die. Let so away. let's try it. Ooh, it's not looking great. Could do reversal again, but I don't really like that. That's like a one, two, three reversal. One, two, three, like out that way. Can you kill the one in front of you, Hanuman? Yeah, good. Do try again. I think I'm gonna try this. So one, two, three. Reversal. To then switch our positions. Battalion levels up with that as well. Nice. And then back over here. I stand ready. And then if we head in here and do a little poke, that gets rid of the Alliance soldier and we're all good. A trivial victory. Nice. We move Lorenz up. Not that we probably want Lorenz going around there by himself, but that's okay. Right. And that leaves Manuela open to maybe start opening up this uh yeah, that bridge. Ooh, Akron's uh, active. Ooh. Love that. That's good. Hey, Battalion leveled up off of it, though. More magic attack. They're heading rounds. Okay, this is good so far. 
We might maybe don't even need to open up the bridge. They might just come around by themselves. How many turns left? Six, I think. Five. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, let's get Flame this kill. She is the lowest level, after all. There we go. Something like that. Perfect. It's the least I could do. So we can now just go fly over into the bush. Yep, back off. I don't know. Move down here. Maybe we'll try and get Hanuman over to the uh, bushes. I'm trying to think who else we can get around here. So Shamir down like this. We'll run over. Uh, get boost. See, I think we'll boost ourselves with dance. There we go. That works. Well done. Can you then get all the way over this way. Nice. Uh, on this side, thinking one of those. Seemed pretty good May to me. Someday forgive me. Uh, you're attacking there with assembly. That's okay. You're attacking with blaze. Not okay. So I'm going to move out of the way and hopefully that will discourage the blaze. It does not, but at least it gives us another option. And then I'm going to go sit in here and use Silence. Perfect. Right. Uh, Aloise. A little rally. Just because you can. So they're heading around. It all comes down to this. Don't really like Blaze. It fizzled though, which is great. Means the other one actually can't hit Aloise. Oh, no, that means they're going to hit Manuela. Because it's blocked off. Here's Never mind, you can hit him somehow. Oh, is it dragging him into the bush? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that actually hit two of them. That's really bad. Although, I suppose we can still use magic. Because she is a magic user, after all. Uh, you know, you might not think she's a magic user based on the complete and utter lack of magic use, but she is. Um, you know what? I think we're going to shoot this guy. Hunter's Volley. There we go. Oh. Of course, when Silence. I use Hunter's Volley, it always crits on the first Sight shot because it uses all the durability either way. Right. Go for this. Nice. We'll do a little uh, fire here. Perfect. And then just run up and start punching. Nice. Look, yeah? Can I get that XP here? No. So in which case, in which case, if I can't get the XP here, I might as well. Uh, you know what? We'll warp Shamir over here. Get her closer to the action. Cool. That was reasonable XP, actually. Let's see what I want to do. So, what's your ranges? Perfect. We only need to kill two of them. Well, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, can I get it in one hit? There we go. We that healed for that. 10. Wait, that lowers our strength. <laughs> I've realized that there's an anti-synergy here. That by doing that, I then lower my excess strength. Um. Alright, well. Good to know. Probably shouldn't play for that defiant strength then, huh? An unfair match. Alright. That's, um... I hadn't fully really realized that before, but that is brilliant. Uh, um, we actually just completely do not synergize whatsoever with that ability. Let's head back and do a little dance and get Shamir up into the fight. That at least gets XP. Thanks. Nice. So she can start moving now. Good. Akron's getting closer. How many turns have we got left? Can't be that many. Three. Okay, fair enough. We might let them come into us then, actually. Is there anything along there? No. Well, I'll just go get the XP then. Level 26 for Balthus. Wonderful. All seems good to me. Italian replenished. Uh, let's go this way. Then we'll go up here and give him a little, uh, a little ward. I won't forget this. He's probably not going to be that useful in the next fight, but that's okay. Then you can head up and give him, uh, a heal. Yeah. Wonderful. 
Uh, what's the furthest you can run? Okay, so we'll get you up here. Then we'll run up and use dance. Sure. Need to figure out where we need to fix her, but that seems good to start with. Happy levels up. Good enough for me. Yep. Right. Step back. Step to the side. Step back. Step to the side. There we are. That'll do. Let them come into us, rather than us having to go into them. Works a lot better this way around. Can, uh, do I have two gambits? No, I only have one gambit. Who has a gambit left here? Somebody must. Oh, you're Blaze. Oh, perfect. What if I run in here and use Blaze? That's not really perfect, but... It might work. I could also use Blaze... Well... It's not perfect. It's not gonna work. And you're actually the only one who... Ha oh, no, we have Onslaught as well. That's not really worth it. Uh, let's see... Can you kill one? This is the problem with her, is she still actually can't kill anyone unless she crits. Yeah. Alright, we'll take a step back. Uh, here. Let's go for Thoron on the back one to kill him. Nice. Do try again. Get Shamir to uh, shoot one of these back ones. Let's go. Yeah, that one. Iron Bow Hunter's Volley. Are we done? Yeah, seems good. Chuck in our little short axe in here. Good, more healing. Further away from the fiant strength. Are you gonna live? You are perfect. Uh, do that then. Give it up, Acheron. We are in the right. If you try to remain here any longer, what? You'll kill me? A tiny kid like you kills someone like me? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. An animal like you cannot be allowed to run amok. We will settle this here and now. If you think you're up to the task, then by all means. But it's not my fault if it ends badly. Nice. <laughs> All right, hit him. Didn't get crit. That was a good bit of dialogue. Right, so now we just need to do um, well, one bit of damage. Uh, well, I guess it's up to you, Shamir. Just looking at where I positioned everyone else. Although, actually, before I do it, I should go and uh, min-max a little bit. Just a small, you know, any mini bit of min-maxing. You can't reach anyone, so you're out. But what I should do is... Um, well, I guess heal here. Get a little bit. Then we can use a ward. I won't forget this. Nice. Followed by using a rally here in order to get them some support. Nice. Then, uh, quite simply, kill them with the lance. Who are you? I'd appreciate it if you could just not get in my way. <laughs> Goodbye, Akron. Nice. Wait, I lose. I give up. I surrender. Please don't kill me. You have my thanks, Professor. Please go on ahead. I will clean up here and then report to my father. See you back at the monastery. Wonderful. So, stage complete. Who got MVP? It was Hanuman. I suppose he did kill a couple of people by himself. The amount of damage Hanuman does as a base amount of damage is actually insane. He doesn't crit that often, but he does, um, you know, just wipe people out. The problem is he's just squishy. If we can get some of the squishiness gone from him, he becomes insane. And we got Gloucester Knights, which are B-level um, battalion, which is useful. Because we're getting a few more people into that level. Right, do a little save, and we get the post uh, paralogue. Your assistance in this incident with Acheron has proved most essential. Consider me in your debt. Thanks to you, the Alliance was able to nip this internal conflict in the bud. What will become of Acheron? He has written a pledge to my father, swearing never to cause trouble about the border again. Oh, well, that's good. We can believe him. 
Of course, he is hardly the type to bind himself in good faith to anything written on paper. But Acheron has many connections, both in the Alliance and in the Empire. To remove him entirely would cause more conflict. We will just have to watch him closely for now. Okay. That is a prudent decision. Indeed. I do plan to eliminate him eventually, however. He is nothing but trouble. Incidentally, there was one other benefit to embarking upon this errand. Have a look at this. The Magic Staff Thursus, a relic passed down through House Gloucester for generations. And for once, it isn't going to be given straight to Lysithia. It seems my father has finally recognized my ability. Apparently, he had been considering entrusting this relic to me for some time. He has had precious few opportunities to take to the field of battle personally of late. Doubtless, by giving this to me, he intends to send the message that I must work even harder. I will certainly continue to do my utmost, but I am by no means completely subservient to his will. Hmm. All is not well between you two? I would not go so far as that, but my father seldom thinks beyond the immediate benefit of our house. While that is important, I prefer to consider the greater good when I make decisions. I believe that is a noble's duty. Now, for the time being, may I trust you to decide how we may best make use of Thursus? For the moment, I think you are in the best position to apply it to the betterment of all Fodlan. Are you sure? To be quite honest, I am not certain I feel ready to decide the fate of a relic on my own just yet. Do me this favor, Professor, and I will be grateful. Now to celebrate! Allow me to treat you to tea. Oh, thank you very much. We have Thyrus, or Thy- Thy- Thyrus. Thyrus. Anyway, he said it several times. It gives you two magic attack range? Oh! Oh, I didn't even realize it gave you two. Oh. Well then. Hanuman? Hanuman, where, where are you, Hanuman? I, I have something for you that will fix many of your issues about moving slowly and all that. So instead of attack range 1, yeah, who needs that, uh, why don't we give you this attack range 2 staff that also isn't yours, but you know, it can be yours, for now. Right, and then the other thing I need to do, um, I really think that the ki- yeah, um, well, I'm trying to think who this staff should go to. In terms of people we're using, it either goes to Manuela, or it should go to Happy. It should probably go to Happy, right? Give her that rusted bow. Uh, we'll give her this staff. Sure. She's kind of the next one in terms of people we're actually going to use. Right. Well, let's chuck in a save and then we're going to leave it there for the episode. Thank you for watching. Next time we're going to do a cursed relic and then I guess we'll just do one of these. Although actually, like, what level is that? 23? Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll think about doing one of these. Um, we may skip it if I think actually we're not going to get any XP from it, but I don't know. We'll see. We should probably do it anyway. It'll be quick if we're not going to get any XP from it, but we're definitely doing this one next time. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.